<laughs> Yatta! I did it. I think I, I think I did it. Yes, I did it. I did do it. I finished this business card design after many days and I recorded a lot of it. Not all of it. I missed the start because I didn't even think of recording it until later. Um, yeah, I was watching some Andrew DeLeon videos, listening to his music, his new album. <clears throat> so I started off this thing kind of not knowing what I was even doing. I just thought of making some sort of background for the card. I chose these colors um, by looking through the color wheel and finding the most ugly color. Um, and then I used three different colors all on different parts of the color spectrum. Well, that's cool. that looks cool in Fast Forward. Um, this made me really want to find my graphics tablet. I have one somewhere. It's it's kind of crappy, but it works. It, it's too big is the, the problem. I, when I bought it, I was like, hey, I want the biggest one I can afford. And it was this genius brand tablet. It's, um, the problem is there's like too much travel for my wrist. Um, and not, not important. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I... Oh, I threw on the some logos there. There's the Twitter logo. Twitter and YouTube, that's pretty much my online presence. And there's my blog, but that... My blog gets the, um, the other side of the card. The front of the card is just my main identity online. Uh, what is this? What am I doing here? Oh yeah, I'm just putting a ton of filters on the background. Wait, no, they're not filters. They're blending effects, I think. I was layering all the colors. Uh, those ugly colors became really cool colors with the lighting effects. Blending effects, sorry. It's layer blending effects. And then I was doing all sorts of things with the text as well. Um, filters, now I'm doing the filters on the colors. And this was a long process, but I really like doing this sort of thing basically making some noise on a lower uh, lower layer and then just filtering the crap out of it applying all sorts of filters and making wacky effects look at that background I love how the colors started popping out at this point oh and then there's the final the final effect and then what it, what I did was I mirrored it you can see I really liked it at that point um, It was just this culmination of all these effects and finally coming together. And they looked so nice. I was really happy with how it turned out. Um, then you can see there I didn't uh, I didn't like the text that I did with the green glowing thing, so I just went with my simple original text. Oh, then the back side. Um, I think I did a previous video on part of this, but I what am I doing here? More filters. I'm like, oh yeah, tweaking the colors. Oh, I, I saw that green effect. I really like that green one. What was I doing here? Oh, taking a break, playing some Curiosity Rover game. Then I started making the logos. This might this this is definitely a separate day. This is like five days at least working on this thing. HTML5, making a little logo. I actually made a Fiverr um, gig saying I'd make you a logo like this for five bucks. You can check it out on Fiverr.com if you want. There's the amateur radio symbol. I can't remember what I did. I had to like completely redo this one. Oh yeah, it crashed. My computer or GIMP, I can't remember which one. Anyway, I had to make the uh, ham radio one twice, but then the Arduino, uh, I don't think I recorded Raspberry Pi, because I did Raspberry Pi before Arduino. 
Uh, I really like the, how the Raspberry Pi turned out. And this Arduino turned out really good too. Um, I, I opted for the the um, infinity shape instead of the circle. Yeah, and this is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I finally finished something. Yeah!